Hi, beautiful people. Today's message is about getting uncomfortable. I've been meaning to say this because I've been so bad with being on a schedule and actually following up and, you know, posting more videos, but I promise I got you. However, I've really been thinking about the fact that getting uncomfortable really takes us to a space of major growth. Like DJ kind of said, major key. This is the space that you intentionally put yourself in in order to be better, to just ultimately be a better person. So over winter break, um, I made a very intentional decision actually before winter break um i went to go see queen and slim with my friend and you know the movie was great but there was a part of the movie in which the main character queen she wanted to go see her mother's grave and she told the story about the relationship she had with her mother and for those of you who know me and, and know a little bit more about my background with that it touched me on such a personal level and i it resonated with me so much and I said, I got to do something like I have to make a change. I've been trying for some years now to build this relationship with my mother that I haven't had. And I said, you know what? I can't wait. I, I just really and truly cannot wait anymore. So I said, you know, I'm going to go to Detroit for winter break. I'm going to spend more time with my mom and I'm going to push myself out of my comfort zone. Needless to say... <laughs> I spent most of the time there not doing what I said I was going to do. But it was the night before I had to leave and I was laying on the couch doing work. And I sat there and I thought, I said, Lila, you're about to leave. And you just spent this money and this time doing nothing, making no progress. So I got up and I sat at her door and I tried really hard to like let the words come out. I, just, I had nothing to say. Like it was, I was in such an uncomfortable, like I took that moment that I really needed to just get up and I got up. So that was like step one. Like the moment I had the thought, I had to jump up. And I put myself in the space to be uncomfortable. I stood there and I had no words. And she was just looking at me. She's like, I feel like you got something to say. It was very casual, you know, like, what's up? You know, what you need? And it clicked. Like whatever went on was have been happening with me, it clicked and I just started wailing like a baby, like a whole child. Um, and knowing more about me, you know, I, I didn't really get to ever be a kid um, growing up or, you know, really didn't have parents, you know, like real parents, like to be there and support me through all the stuff you go through as a teenager and a preteen and as a little kid. And... I sat there and I welled and, and we talked and I cried a lot. And at some point, you know, I was just, you know, we've had these these breakdown and these moments of, of just openness and a sharing, you know, like, well, this is what I went through and this is how I feel. But I realized it's always been out of anger. It's never been from a place of understanding, a place of peace, a place of trying to move forward. And I sat there and I finally said, you know what? I am like this because I've been protecting myself all these years. I've been trying to put keep my shield up because that's what saved me. That's what's gotten me where I am now. And I never knew my mother could be this wise. And she said, maybe you don't have to be that little girl anymore. I waited so long to have those types of conversation with my mom not knowing that she was going to be able to help me through it. So I say all that to say that putting myself in this space of discomfort, A, I was underestimating the other people involved and their abilities or their capabilities to, to support me or provide what I might need in that moment. And then B or two, I don't even know how I was, you know, numbering that. Um, I felt so good. Like, I mean, the weight, the freedom, the just like everything just lifted. And I felt like I opened up. I felt like I can go run. Not really, but, you know, I felt like everything just felt better. Everything just felt like so much more at peace. And it gave me a gateway to continue to go out and try to make more of our relationships, to try and be more of what I've been struggling to be for so long.
when I think about being uncomfortable, I think about how that ultimately makes me a better person. And I've told people before that when it comes to being an educator, whether that be a teacher, a coach, a speaker, whatever, I always think about how I can be a better person first. First and foremost, I'm thinking about me. And anything that I can think of that makes me better ultimately makes my teaching better, ultimately makes my coaching better, ultimately makes my speaking better, makes everything else better for me. My ability to step into really uncomfortable spaces of letting go of my old habits, of my traditions, of my old ways of being, it feels so good. Work on letting go and being uncomfortable. This is the year. This is the year of discomfort, of not feeling like everything just is peachy keen and wrapped up in a beautiful blanket every day. Get real uncomfortable. If you don't sweat a little bit and tremble and almost kind of sort of regret getting ready to do and say what you're about to say, but you know it's for a good purpose, you're not uncomfortable enough. Get uncomfortable and tell me how it went. Bye.